Hey everyone, I'm Rob Franick. I'm editor-in-chief here at the Princeton Review. A question, my friends. Would you rather be spending three hours scrolling through social media or hanging out with your best friends in the world doing something that you all cumulatively love? Friends, the answer is obvious, but please hold that thought because we're going to come back to it. Folks, if you're learning virtually this fall, you may have classes that are pre-recorded that you can watch at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday or 10 p.m. on a Wednesday and no one would be the wiser. Feel the power in it, my friends. Overall, you're likely to have roughly the same quantity of stuff to do, but fewer constraints about when you do them. No bells between class or intensive team workout schedules, just the live classes that you have to attend, plus your to-do list, plus time. Now that all said, if you have a tendency to procrastinate, that extra flexibility in your schedule may present some extra large challenges. When you procrastinate, you put off for the future something that you should likely be working on right now. The word itself comes from pro, which means forward or for, and crass, which means tomorrow. But when you put too many things off until tomorrow, you can create a situation in which you're both stressed as well as crunched for time, and here's the worst thing about procrastination. In my humble opinion, you deprive yourself of an opportunity to have actual fun, free time. Here's what I mean. If you can be disciplined about your schedule and you finish your work at 2 p.m. on a Thursday, then you can give yourself the entire rest of the day to hang out with your best friends and do something that you love together without guilt. Just as we talked about right up at the beginning of this segment, the thing is that procrastination, it robs you of your free time. When you procrastinate, you always have something lingering on your to-do list. You stretch out the period of time during which you're working or feel like you're working, and you compress the fun part, the part when you're actually done and absolutely free. So today, let's talk about how you can avoid procrastinating and get more free time. Tip number one, adjust your mindset. Think of procrastinating as something that you do actively because it is, we all do it. And then once you've changed the way that you think about it, you can change what you do about it. You can choose to actively do something else. Tip number two structure your schedule. With virtual school, you're likely to have a lot more flexibility for when you do things, and that's awesome. You can get to create a schedule that works for you. And even if you haven't peeked yet at this video that we did just this past week, our segment on nine back-to-school tips fires on that exact same subject. The point of this whole thing is don't let your schedule happen to you. Be an active participant in creating it. Number three, when you're in class, whether it's live or pre-recorded, make sure that you get engaged. For live classes, make sure that you're taking notes and participating and raising your hands and asking questions. On pre-recorded classes, take notes, copious notes, clear notes that you can refer back to. Reach out to your teacher if you have questions. In fact, do that anyway by attending virtual office hours if your teachers offer them. From an online oh, form, an online study group with your friends and other classmates, get your head in the game even and especially when the game is going to be two dimensions on your screen. Tip number four, make it harder to procrastinate. Part of the problem with procrastinating is that it's so easy to do. One way to be more deliberate about how you spend your time is to use a time management app when you need to study. Some of them will actually shut down your access to the internet for a period of time so that you can focus. Focus. Others will be more like timers that you can set to work really, really hard for 20 minutes and then take a five minute break and then repeat as needed. But friends, you don't even need an app for this. You can just turn off your internet access for a certain period of time or set a timer itself. There are lots of apps out there and many of them are free. So figure out which one works best for you and then do that. Tip number five, don't fall into the trap of productive procrastination. Friends, I am so guilty of this myself. Productive 
procrastination, procrastination, pardon me, is when you're doing something laudable and productive, but it's just not the thing that you're supposed to be doing at that particular time. If you have a paper to write, now is not the perfect time to clean your room. Tip number six, try to be deliberate about how you spend your time. One maxim that I found useful is don't stay up late doing something that you wouldn't get up early to do. Unless, of course, that thing that you're doing is something that you actively want to do. And friends, that leads me to my final tip for you here today. Tip seven, be kind to yourself. The point of all of these tips is to help you think about being deliberate and how you spend your time. This is not to say that every waking moment needs to be spent in service of some larger goal that actually sounds pretty miserable. But if you can achieve a greater ratio between productivity and procrastination, then you can use your free time to do things that you actually enjoy most. And at this very challenging moment, having more time for things that you love is very much a win. Friends, a silver lining to virtual school is that you may even have a bit more free time than usual. So plan for it. And as always, thank you so much for watching, my friends. Um, I'm Rob Pranik. I'm editor-in-chief here at the Prince Derby. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest um, study strategies, admission tips, exam information, and a lot, lot more. 